I would say I'm drawn to the special needs dogs because I just know that some of them may feel unworthy in this world or they may be really scared in this world. And I've been fostering special needs dogs for 10 years because they truly need an advocate for them. I first heard about Freddy when I was working for a dog rescue and we got a phone call saying that someone had found this tiny deformed chihuahua in a duffel bag on the side of the road and she needed someone who was going to know how to take care of her. Freddy was born with her jaw severely deformed and she also had two rows of teeth so she had to get 17 teeth extracted. Her front legs were deformed, she couldn't really use them normally. We ended up finding out that she was actually born without an epiglottis, which is the flap in the back of your throat that opens and closes. So because of that, during her dental and spay procedure, she ended up getting aspirate pneumonia. I really didn't know if she was gonna make it or not, but I knew that she still has so much life left to live and she's not ready to leave us. So Freddie can't walk on her own, so she's in a backpack and I carry her. So she'll stay back here. And the most challenging part of this walk is getting out of the gate with the dogs in the wheelchairs. <laughs> she's just hugely inspiring, especially to the people out there who are different. My whole experience with Freddie has impacted me on such a deep level. Freddie has just brought so much good into my life and I'm so grateful for it. And the more time that I spent with her, the more that I really saw who she really was start coming out. She went from a very shy and scared dog to this huge personality. I would say the most important thing is for all of the dogs that I live with and for most dogs, is you just cannot feel sorry for them. Because if you feel sorry for them, they're not gonna be able to grow into who they really are. Just out for a stroll with everybody. It's my calling to take in animals like these that I do, the special needs cases, the more challenging or difficult ones. Because I was a vet tech for 14 years and have medical background and all of that, it makes it a lot easier for me to understand them and to care for them. And dogs have done so much for my life that I just devote my life to them in order to give that back. But I, I live for these dogs. These dogs bring so much joy to me.